am I next? Am I next to be under Jim Crow for the rest of my life and be in prison forever? I started off one of my first videos just like this. And since this is my 25th now, I'm going to redo it. I'm going to try and do this with new perspectives, new information. It's going to feel a lot better. First of all, let me, for those who didn't watch that video, talk about the likelihood of being in prison. For a white man in the United States, the likelihood is about 1 in 17. Some sources say like 1 to 23, so about 1 in 20. It's about a 5% chance. If you're black, however, it's about 1 in 4 to 1 in 3. About 25%, 33%. And if you're Mexican, like me, it's about a 1 in 6 chance. Or 16%. It's like right in the middle. And we're talking about lifetime imprisonment. Not really even necessarily lifetime imprisonment, lifetime, lifelong punishment. We're supposed to, we preach that once someone has repaid their debt to society, you know, given up years, decades of their life, it's done. There's closure and you can move on with your life. We don't allow that. The felon title makes us, you can never fully move on. You can't. And not even just a felon talk, you're likely to go back. The likelihood that you'll be re re incarcerated within nine years for black people is about eighty six point nine percent. White people, eighty point nine, Mexican people or Latino, eighty one point three. It's very high for all the races, but black and Latino is still the highest. Now back to the topic of the felon title. The NI, um, the NIH, which is like the National Institute of Health, I don't know why they specifically were doing the research, but they did. They estimated that people with felony conviction count for about 8% of all adults. Black people? 33% of the adult male population. 33% has is now disenfranchised for likely the rest of their entire like, it's just the new Jim Crow. It takes away a lot that the old Jim Crow would take away, like voting rights. Certain social services makes it a lot harder to get a job. Like, that little check mark, you gotta check. Have you, you ever been convicted of a felony? You gotta check it. It makes it a lot harder to get jobs. You can't get food stamps. Life insurance can be much harder. Or certain parental rights are taken away, even. And I will say that it is a little rare and not as common for parental rights, but still. You can lose a lot of your rights as a parent being a felon and largely most of them are non-violent things like drug offenses and this has been going on for a while these statistics i brought up were from 1980 to about most of them are from the 80s to now and it is seeming to get a little better they are seeming to try and change it because they're getting a lot of pressure from both sides both liberal and conservative Liberals for like the human rights violations and race relations. Conservatives for the money aspect, for the fact, you know, we've been spending so much money on it all, trying to cut back. But, in the words of Angela Davis, historically, when one looks at efforts to create reforms, they inevitably lead to more oppression. What she means is that when you let the institutions change it themselves without other people forcing them to actually really change it. It just goes from one bad to one slightly less bad. Look at antebellum or traditional slavery. It went from that, and then they got rid of it, and then it went to chain gangs, comic leasing, and debt peonage. And then when they phased that out, they continued with Jim Crow and worker disenfranchisement. They were the last hired, first fired. And then after that was stopped, then we came to mass incarceration. And we might be coming to the end of that, finally, thankfully. But we don't know what the next iteration is going to be. But there will be something. There's going to be something. There always is. It'd be very naive to say that, oh, this time it's different. What makes this time different? Lots of people, when they think about history, they look at it as though they're at the end of time. Like, for example, capitalism will say, we found the greatest solution, we found the greatest thing, it can't go any further, it can't get any better. We're not at the end of time. History is still being written as we know it. So no, we're not at the end of the, of the struggle. we got to force them to change it. So otherwise, it's just going to be one bad to slightly less bad. Maybe it'll be work camps. 
maybe it'll be home imprisonment. They've been talking about that. Letting them serve out their times in house arrest. Where they'll be like the entire community is confined to their homes and can't leave. There's simply no way to know. There's simply no way to know what the next system will be. And there's no way to know if I'm the next one to be incarcerated and or disenfranchised for the rest of my life.